I want to know, can the Jackery Home Power 3000 run a fridge in my apartment? For how long? Please watch to the end of the video and see what I recorded. The Jackery 3000 has 3,702 watt hours, 3,600 output, and 72 watt surge. Okay, since the Jackery has 7,200 watt surge, for sure it's gonna start this up and start running. For how long, I don't know. We're gonna plug it in and find out. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the first hour, very accurate. After that, I'm gonna let it run all night, wake up and see where it's gonna be at. And I'm gonna document the time and everything because I wanna know also myself, how much can this power of my fridge? Okay, so it's 11.40 at night. I will stay up till 12.40 to get the one hour document. Now, we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna see, we're gonna plug it in. We're gonna see the surge watts and how much. I believe that went to 15, maybe almost 1600 watts. So I'm going to be running the fridge from 1140 that I started at night to the next day at 1140 again. So I would like to see, is it really going to turn off at on 24 hours at that time? Or am I still going to have some juice or is it going to die before that time? So we're going to see how that works. All right. Now it's 1240. It has, it has gone down 4%. 22.2 .2 hours using 72 watts. Now, my biggest reason why I got this Jackery was not only to save power, uh, electricity for my apartment. It occurred to me one time when I went to the store and I was not paying attention to the news. There was supposed to be a storm coming tonight. It was going to be bad, but I wasn't paying attention. I went out and bought $400 worth of groceries, came home happy, putting stuff away. I see the news and I see that this storm was coming to hit us tonight. There was lots of reports of power outages and floods. And then I began to worry because I wasted, well, I might be wasting $400 worth of food. And the worst part about it was I had two babies who were transitioning from regular formula to milk and I bought a bunch of milk and you know their babies they need their milk like every two hours and so I went out and bought this little styrofoam kind of uh ice chest you'll call it I put a little bit of ice and I was gonna hopefully the power didn't turn off but if it did it was gonna be the baby's milk that was gonna be in there because they are more important long story short the storm did come but thank god that everyone well not for them to be in bad luck but everyone else got their power shut off around my neighborhood we were good my power still stayed on and we were okay but i have to say that it did get me worried you know in the back of my head i was actually thinking we'll all be in the dark because i didn't put in my part i didn't prepare for my family i didn't i wasn't being good enough i wasn't doing good enough to help my babies so i i stumbled across portable power stations i saw the 5,000, I see the 3,000 on Jackery. And there's other, other kind of portable power station brands out there. So I took it upon myself to get one of these and I never tested it. So today I am testing this. And so far with the results, I am very pleased. I am very happy. So I just feel happy that I'm secured. I have some backup. Any storm that comes, I'm ready to go. And I think that's a big, big plus. If you have a big family or even just for yourself, just to have some nice, good food, cold drinks, nothing spoiling during a power outage. I remember when I was little, we had we had plenty of power outages when I was little. I used to live in the trailer parks and I remember we could last two, three days just off canned food. Well, you know, open up a canned food, eat it like that. But I don't want to be living like that and I don't want my family to be living like that. So I invested in one of these portable power stations and so far I'm happy.
Okay, so 11.40 at night, the whole 24 hours, it survived at 26%. That is very, very good to have one day and you still have a little bit of juice of uh, power. So I'm very happy with the results. Of course, there's, a, there's other bigger units out there if you're going to use them. For me, and I'm in an apartment, I kind of, I can't use a transfer switch. So this is as good as I could get. Another thing I would like to bring up is the accuracy on the Jackery. It said it could do up to 24 hours on the LCD screen, but it lasted a lot longer. Now, another thing I want to bring up is it could have lasted longer. The fridge would have probably maybe lasted an extra three, four hours extra. Uh, throughout the day, I was opening it to get some food for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And that's going to make the compressor work a little harder, a little more. And it was also going to, when you open it up, the light that's in the fridge does about 40 watts. But all that adds up. So to me, it was a very, very good thing because I was thinking 24 hours. And then how about, not? we're not even opening the fridge yet. We're not even you know, getting snacks or food, it's going to be a lot less, maybe 20 hours. But no, even throughout the whole day of me doing that, it still did its job of 24 hours and still had 26% of juice left over. That's very good. Now, another thing that I would like to bring up is this could actually last longer if I was to pull out solar. If it's pulling about 100 watts an hour, if I had a 500 watt or a thousand watts of solar, I'm going to be pretty set for the day. So I would like to test out solar and maybe see some results from the Jackery being really low. I know it's going to do it, but I would like to see, is it going to, from 20 26%, is it going to stay like that? Or is it still going to be charging while pumping the refrigerator? I know you would like to see those results. and. You want to see the results? All right, fine. Let's go. Let's go test it out. I want to see too. You know. Okay, so now that's solar. I started from 26% and I started at 11 o'clock in the morning. I did it for three hours till two o'clock. Now from 11 till two, those three hours, it went from 26% to 70%. For sure my jacket will full charge probably by four to five o'clock. And I also would like to say that it is not just charging the jacket, it's also, I'm also using the refrigerator plugged in as well so that is a thousand watts of solar you can go for the 200 watt solar panel that jackery offers that's just going to make you stretch the time out but of course when the sun goes down and you're with that 26 percent a little bit before 12 o'clock at midnight you probably run out of the jackery if you get the 500 watt solar panel then more or less you might get a little bit of extra juice to run a little longer through the night but I got the 1,000 watts, and to me, if you're going to go big with the big Drucker unit, you might as well go big on the solar as well. So I do think about that. So if a storm did come and passed, I, it, it could be sunny, but it could still be cloudy. I may not get all the power, but I will get some to get me through maybe a couple more hours or through the next day. 
So in the end of the day, all this still matters. To me, get a big power station, get lots of solar, so you can make sure that you're ready for any emergency situation. Okay, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope I gave you some valuable information, something to look at, some real world experience. There's some other projects that I'm working on while I have a lot of things going on else in my life, but I'm really trying to pull through and I really want to do this. So I hope you can stay with me and support me and teach me what you know and what I don't know. I love learning new things. So please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.